Executive Board and Chief. The southern, the new municipalities in the south are Alar in Chinese, Aral in Uyghur, and the Kumshuk. So they have uh, a status that's under the under the autonomous region government. Okay, but Alar, Kumshuk, Wujiaqiu, Shuhezi are also Xinjiang Production Construction Corps. So the the Army Corps, the Bing Tuan. Bing Tuan usually translated as Corps, but I think better to translate as Army Corps. Okay. Um, so the, the, essentially the remnants of the state farm system. So the population is more or less evenly divided between north and south. Uh, if, you, if you count Urumqi, say, within the northern areas here, and then the, the south uh, down here. Uh, this uh, population density shows it by district and autonomous prefecture and municipality. So you can see that the municipalities such as uh, Urumqi and Shrebaza, um, Paramai, Aral, uh, Kumshuk, for the most part have higher densities than the places around them. Um, if you look at the densities by county, you get, of course, a, a, a fuller picture. Uh, uh, another aspect is, of course, within the interior here in the Taklamakan, there are not very many people. But since this is a map showing it by district, you know, we, we have to go with this. We don't have to, but it is. <clears throat> so if we look at the sex ratio, it gives you a, a pretty good idea of some of the uh, distinctions within within the region overall. So the male-female ratio in, in Xinjiang is 106.87. Uh, but one thing I think, and it goes with all of these, is that uh, Xinjiang is very different, north, south, east, west, etc., municipalities and uh, rural areas. Um, so um, quite a big difference uh, when you take a look at it overall. So the higher sex ratio in places like uh, Wujiaqiu, which is a new municipality just outside of um, Urumqi, or Arlar, or, or Tumshuk. Since these are more urbanized areas, you know, that's part of the aspect to take a look at it. But also for, say, Alar and Tumshuk, uh, these are state farms, so you have a, a predominance of male population. The other aspect is, of course, the China um, population control policy. Uh, so here I have it in a, a graphic format, so a little bit easier to, to see, say, the municipalities with very high sex ratio, male, male to female, uh, and other places that, you know, not so high, say around 102, say like uh, Kashgar, about 102, 105. If you break it out in terms of Minzu, that which I suppose you could, you could translate as nationality or ethnicity or Malat or however you like, <coughs> up to you. You see a, a very different kind of picture. So it's not only regional distinction, but also in terms of ethnic distinction. So the Han population, which of course is under the one child rule, is at about 112. Uh, the Uyghur population is at about 102. And the Kazakh and others also about 102, which is more what one would perhaps normally expect, around 100. <coughs> now if the population uh, policy changes, that is, Han can have more than one child, and, and the new regulation is if you are, um, you know, you're an only child and your spouse is an only child, you can have two. So that's going to change things, all right? Uh, and then if uh, Uyghur are under that same population uh, policy, that will change things as well. Uh, but this is as of 2010, so before any changes in the population policy. If you look at the um, age distribution, uh, you also get uh, interesting uh, results uh, overall. So for Xinjiang, uh, the youth that is under uh, 014 is 20.5 uh, 
percent, and over 65 at 6.5 percent. Um, in um, in China, overall, the youth is 8.9 percent, uh, and uh, well, excuse me, the elderly is 8.9 percent, and the youth is 16.6 percent. So Xinjiang is much younger than other uh, provincial level units uh, in China. But similarly, you see the kind of variation around Xinjiang where the municipalities uh, have higher levels of the elderly, 12%, uh, 13%. Uh, the ones down south, though, no. Okay? That's like 5%. So this is a young, younger kind of working population. Um, the working population overall is around 73%, and uh, you can see those kinds of distinctions uh, there. So demographically speaking, the North is older than the South. Okay? And of course, ethnically, there's also distinctions that go along with that. All right. So this is another graph to show the, um, the age distribution overall. You can see the elderly population and then the youth population. So you have higher youth populations uh, in the South. Um, the current uh, kind of situation with uh, Minzu or, or ethnicity uh, or the lot, uh, in, in Xinjiang uh, in the 2010 census is 21.8 uh, million people, uh, Uyghur at 45.8, Han at 40.5, Kazakh at 6.5, the Dongan population, there's another word in Chinese, is 4.5 percent, and the rest is 2.7 percent. Uh, um, but this includes also, say, the rest, uh, Kyrgyz and and, uh, and Mongol uh, population. The only area, so all of the minority population is about 59.4 percent. The only area in China that has a higher uh, minority population is uh, Tibet. <coughs> In uh, 1990, the Han population was around 38%. Uh, so there has been a relative increase of Han due to migration, not, not necessarily the rate of natural increase. So the Han population are in the north, Uyghur more in the south, Kazakh in the farther <coughs> north, uh, Dongan uh, in Ili, Changji, and Urumqi, Kyrgyz in Kizilsu. Mongol and Bayangol and Bortala, Dongxian uh, mostly in Bolgia, Tajik in Kashgar district, uh, Shiba in Bolgia, Manchu in Urumqi, Uzbek in Bolgia, Russian in uh, Barbaratai and Urumqi, uh, Tibetans in Changji, Zhuang in Urumqi, uh, Daoer in Barbaratai, Tuja in Urumqi and Bayangol, Miao in Urumqi, in Bayangol, Salar in Bulja, Tatar in Changji, in Urumqi. Um, uh, usually, the Dongxian, Tibetan, uh, Zhuang, Tuja, and Mao are not considered native to Xinjiang, although I think the Dongxian probably could be considered as native to Xinjiang. Other ethnic groups are less than 14,000, 100 people unrecognized ethnicity, and 35 foreigners resident in Xinjiang as of the 2010 census. So, um, Uyghur, uh, Han, Kazakh, Longan, and then smaller percentages, Kyrgyz and Mongol and other groups overall. Uh, if we map this out, this is the picture that we look, and this is um, minority population, so that is Uyghur and Kazakh, etc. Uh, the areas that are very uh, light color, so this is Urumqi, uh, Wujiachu, Shrihutza, uh, Karamai area, Alar, 
and Kumshuk. So the municipalities are more uh, on population. This is a map I worked on with National Geographic. It's a dot map rather than a county map. So the, the picture looks a little bit different. This is 2009 data, so that's different as well. But try to give an idea of the vast unpopulated areas, either too mountainous or, or, or desert. Um, so you get a, a different kind of picture if you just map individual cities and towns and villages and such. <clears throat> So um, Urumqi was uh, 2010, and the census, um, the the state policy for the census is that you know they take the census and then they will add in the figures to take care of the unregistered population or the floating population. However, we don't know what the baseline number is; only what the number that was reported. So there's like baseline X plus something, and we don't know either of those two figures. And then the final result. So this is the final result. Uh, so the Urumqi district, and these other ones I'll show are, are by district, not uh, the Urumqi city. So it's not like the uh, urban built-up area, but the whole vast part of Urumqi, 75% uh, would work. And, um, excuse me, very wrong. 75% Han, 13% Blue uh, But that includes all of the surrounding areas, and the uh, internal is probably at least 80% Han. Okay. The Ely um, district is more mixed, where you have uh, Uyghur, Han, Kazakh, roughly you know 25, 30% each, and then and then Dongan as well. So of course, Ely is uh, as part of the Kazakh Autonomous Prefecture. So the titular prefectures say Kazakh Autonomous Prefecture, but then you notice the Kazakh are saying 22%. If it's Autonomous Prefecture, that doesn't mean that the Kazakh are in the majority by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, Kashgar District is 90 some percent uh, Uyghur, but the, um, the, the city, so I didn't, I didn't craft, um, let me just, uh, Kashgar City in 2010, the Han population is 21%, okay? So, um, so the city itself, city proper, and of course, most people like me, foreigners and such, they're going to go to the cities, and then you look in the countryside, and of course you're going to see something different. Uh, Torpon, uh, district of uh, Uyghur, and 25% uh, Han. Shurhadza municipality, 92% uh, Han. Of course, this is a city built by the Bintuan, by the production and construction port. Bayangol Autonomous Prefecture, which is a Mongol Autonomous Prefecture. Uh, but you can see that the Mongol population is relatively uh, small. Okay? So it's mostly Uyghur and, and Han. Kizilsu Kyrgyz uh, Autonomous Prefecture. Uh, once again, about 20, 25, 27% Kyrgyz. So that's the, the um, means of picture, the ethnic. And then you say, well, okay, what about migration? Now this is official registrants uh, in the census, okay? People coming from other provinces. Um, and it's not broken down by ethnicity, but I assume, it is an assumption, that most of this population will be Han or Hui, uh, Dongan, okay? Um, so there's 1.79 million uh, from uh, other provinces. Okay. You can also look at it um, by region. So where are the people coming from? Where are they going? So we have a, a nice map of this. Uh, this is the only movement in China that's really going to the west. Most of the population migration 
movement in China is going to the east, to the coast. This is the only um, you know, net movement uh, that's really moving out to the western areas. Source regions are uh, Hunan on the Yellow River, uh, Sichuan on the Yangtze River, and actually there's a lot of from the Three Gorges area that moved from Sichuan, and uh, so that wouldn't be Chongqing, but, but Sichuan, uh, to uh, Xinjiang. And then Gansu, which of course is the neighboring province. And one would expect that certainly with the neighboring province you would, you would see <coughs> movement uh, from those areas. And then you can also see where where people are um, moving to uh, within this as well. So the highest level of uh, external registrants are in um, Urumqi, Katermai, uh, Shrebaze, Bayangbo, and Alar. So Urumqi, Karamai, uh, Shrebaze. So these, those migrations have been ongoing. And then Alar is a new, a new migration with the establishment as a municipality. Alar was in the uh, Aksu area. Uh, and so now it's, it's measured distinct. But even in the 2000 census, it showed up that county, Awak County, as having a larger Han population. All right. Um, and that, you know, part of it, when you take a look at it overall, of the, the population that is Han, um, there's about three million people that are in the uh, production construction core, which is 90% Han. So, you you have a, a significant component of the Han population that is in the Bing Tuan, the production construction core, or their parents or grandparents were in the Bing Tuan. So it's a, a, a very large component of looking at the, um, the current Han population, and of course their descendants, if they elect to stay in Xinjiang and not move back to Shanghai or Sichuan, will continue to be a large uh, component. So population growth continues in Xinjiang. Migration is increasing in recent years, especially if you add in the floating population. All right. And that will um, probably lead to a larger Han population with, within Xinjiang uh, in, in relative terms and also in absolute terms. And that is focused very much on the transportation linkages, the railroad that take you to Tashgar, and now the railroad that's going to apply. Thank you.